We're talking about innovative teaching with the students. We're talking about what is the kind of teaching that really engages you, and, and what does that look like? And they're talking about the innovative teaching that, that will make that happen. We're at Delta Secondary this morning, and uh, we're going to take a, take a tour through the school and take a peek at some of the different programs that are uh, being offered at Delta Secondary, really focusing on how, um, how, how student interests can, uh, can drive some of the, the learning that, uh, that they're doing at school on a regular basis. They're getting school credits for it, and for a lot of them, this is what they want to do with the rest of their life. Everything you, you learn at your own pace and you take it at your own pace, it makes it a lot easier to learn. This is, this is Canada's only electric drag racing vehicle. I've planned to pursue a career in the trades. At, uh, I'm not sure which trade yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll be something mechanical. bringing technology into classes and not just learning by books and lectures all the time. Um, especially with all the new gadgets such as cell phones, iPads, iPhones, all those are forcing, uh, forcing new technology on our society. They're already tied into their technology as students so much that they know what innovation should look like and they're looking for it all the time. The need to, to reflect, the need to, to be innovative, the need to, to constantly look at how we can improve things. I think that's, that's extremely important. I like how in like the younger years you like learn, like yeah, you have to do all the courses, but I like how in grade 12 you have like complete options, like I'm not in any socials or math or science. We're in biology, chemistry and physics, and I love all three of those classes. I've had such a good experience with it that I've been really passionate about it, I think. At lunch, I'm usually busy with uh, grad council meetings, uh, International Friendship Association meetings, or um, organizing events for the school, or just hanging out here in the cafe. I think it's important that we tap into, to get student input about what they learn, how they learn it, where they learn it, and when they learn it, to, to best adjust to, to what works for them. Right now we're at North Delta Secondary School. We're here for a student summit called Building a Classroom Walls Optional. Basically what we're here for is we're gathering ideas from the students all over the Delta District and uh, figuring out how changes they would like to see in a classroom setting. Our education system is not perfect. We know this because, you know, I hear complaints from students about, about teachers, about class structure. In the survey, 52% of Delta students felt engaged in Delta schools. Why do you think students do not feel engaged? We learn more when we enjoy what we're doing. Yeah. This is our opportunity to have those opinions voiced and get to the root of why it's not working, not just hear that it's not working. I think passion is one of the most important things. If there's a teacher that's passionate, I pay attention in their class because mm -hmm. they're going off. There's certain teachers in the school that I love to come back to in class because they're always so energetic and they just they just love their subject that they're teaching and know so much. They change their voice so I get scared every now and then because I doze off but then they scream. <laughs> that type of thing, it keeps me in the class, right? Some teachers allow iPods and MP3 players in classrooms and some don't. And for me, when if I listen to music while just working on something independently, I'm more or less likely to talk to my neighbor mm -hmm. and get my work done than if I didn't have it. Mm -hmm. So I think if teachers are more open to things like that and understanding that mm -hmm. students learn in different ways, then I think that a classroom would probably work better and students might be more open to suggesting things if a teacher's open to it. The thing is that I wish is that the teachers spread out the uh, like exams, like maybe have it in semesters. I'd like to try that to see how it is, maybe have half your courses in a year so then you don't have all eight right in one week or so. One of our teachers, he he has a due date on the homework, but he knows no matter what, we'll get it done eventually. That would be really cool in order to see everyone else who's involved in the district and sort of give feedback and tips. And we even had some teachers ask us, how do you guys like to learn? What would you like to do? I, this is what I have to teach. How would you guys like to learn it? 
knowing that we're being heard, like I really like that because I know that it's actually getting somewhere and will probably actually have an effect in what's going to happen. It's not fast. The change in education is definitely not fast. But what can happen if people will take the time to act on what they're hearing uh, from the students is going to be quite profound.